Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to show you a very exclusive photo book, The Wooden Books by Pixmeg. So first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. This is the first video of the new year and it's probably the best occasion to start with something so amazing and so special. I'm also experimenting with a slightly different setup here to be able to show more of the book and less of me. So, um, Pixmig is a company located in Macedonia and they have been in the business for many, many decades and now through their website, anybody around the world can order their products. The book that I have from them today is called a wooden photo book because it's made of real wood. I've never ever seen a book like this before and I have to admit that I didn't even know it existed until the company brought it to my attention. So just a little thought here about small companies. Sometimes it's very hard to hear about them or find them on the internet because whenever you put photo book into Google or any kind of search, the first thing that comes up is always the photo book giants like Mixbook and Blurb. Obviously, I'm not trying to say that they are not great photo books, but what I noticed in the past few months seeing more and more independent companies by independent I mean smaller companies is that there's a lot more innovation in these companies they're trying to create more interesting products and they also have more um, craftsmanship in what they do in this review I'm going to talk mostly about the wooden photo book but I'm also going to mention the other options you can have with the company so let's see what this is it's a really really heavy book and it's they're most exclusive in the range and that's how it opens it's real wood as you can see and then the book comes out like that now all of these books come with this wooden box and just to show you it's real wood it's really thick it's beautiful and you can have your titles carved onto the front of the box and the same onto the cover. I'm going to show these in more detail in my up close shots but just to show you how the book looks from a little bit further away. So that's the book. Uh, I made this book from my favorite shots from my wildlife encounters because I thought it would be an amazing match with a wooden look. It's pictures from nature, pictures from the forest, so a wooden cover would be amazing. So once again, this is wood as well on the front and the back. And let me just show you how the book looks. So that's my double empty spread. And then the book starts. It is obviously lay flat. Uh, just a few pages. I will talk about these later. And hopefully this way you can see more of the book because with some of these bigger books, it's a bit awkward for me to hold them. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so that's just a few of the sample pages from the book. Obviously, I'm going to show it in an up-close shot in a few minutes. The other books that you can get with Pixmeg are basically lay flat photo books with different covers. They have acrylic books, they also have leather in nine different colors and linen in 15 different colors and the usual image wrap hardcover. So they really have all of the most luxurious and high end materials that you can have as a cover for these kind of books. And obviously the print quality is going to be amazing because it is silver halide. Before I go into my up close shots, let me just tell you that the company has been extremely kind and they gave me a code that I can share with you. Use the code PHOTOBOOKGURU and you can get 40% off any of these amazing wooden books and obviously that includes the box as well. The full price is 199 euros if I'm not mistaken and if you get 40% off you can save like 80 euros so it's a really great deal so make sure to use it. Let me go into my up close shots now show you the cover, binding, paper, quality, editing and then I talk a bit more about delivery, um, prices and the pros and cons of this book. Unfortunately, I can't show the unboxing because uh, it was so meticulously packed that I basically had to rip it open. Which is a good thing, you know, because at least the box was safe and the contents were safe. But if you imagine this was all in a big bubble wrap and then around some other packaging material. And this is the box that the book is in. Now, as you can see, it has a lovely, lovely texture. And this is the one color that it comes in. And what you can see already is the title on the front. So this is carved into the wood and it slides off like that. And let me just show you close up so you can see the carving and the texture of the wood. 
gives a lovely sound and it's quite thick as you can see and let me just take out the book so I had a thank you note um, dear Stefan and in the bottom as I mentioned before you have a 40% discount for this book using the code photobookguru then I also have some samples here for the covers. I'm not sure that you would get these, but I have them here so I can show them to you later at the cover section. And this is how the book comes out. You have a little handle here, which is again leather, and you can nicely lift it out. It's really heavy, so you need to lift it out. And let me just show you the box inside. So as you can see, it's very rustic looking, and the back again looks like that. It's quite thick and wide. So that's all about the box. It's amazing. It's truly special. And I mean, I think it goes really well with my wildlife book, but you can use it for weddings and anything really that's special to you. Now let's move on to the sizes. The wooden book comes in only one size, which is 30 by 30 centimeters. If you choose a different type of book from Pixmig, you can choose from 20 by 20, 25 by 25 and 30 by 30 centimeters. There's also a landscape A4 and a portrait A4 size. So quite a big selection, not too many rectangular sizes. They are focusing mostly on the square sizes, but you've got one of each. Let's have a look at the cover of this beautiful book. So this is the wooden cover, obviously. And as you can see, the title is carved into the book cover as well, not just the box. It's the exact same material as the box. So it's a really, really thick wood, as you can see it here knock knock and the back is the same there's nothing on it and the two uh, wooden sheets are held together by this beautiful leather spine so that's how the cover looks and again there's the the carving into the wild in my case if you love wood and um, earth materials then this photo book is gonna be your favorite if you do not choose the wooden book Pixmig has a lot of other cover materials as well that you can choose from. They have an image wrap hardcover book. They also have leather in nine colors. Let me show you six of them. So these are the leather materials. You've got this textured one here, a slightly softer texture. A creamy color and that's more white. You've got altogether nine colors. I've got six here. And you've also got linen in 15 colors. And here is a sample of six colors. It's very, very smooth, as you can see. Arizona. So this one comes in 15 colors, leather in nine colors. And you've also got acrylic, which is a different kind of book. It's the acrylic photo book. I haven't got a sample of that, but you can imagine how acrylic looks. It's like kind of a glass crystal um, type of cover but obviously it's not made of glass let's move on to the binding so this book is obviously lay flat so let me open it it starts with an empty black double spread no company logo anywhere on the book and you don't have to pay for that and then it stays fully flat you can have lovely double spreads uh, I talk about that in a minute as you can see there's no break anywhere in the picture. It's printed as double spreads. And I would classify this book as flush mount as opposed to lay flat. Uh, if you don't know the difference, I tell you now. So let me just give you a flip through before I talk about that. So just my pictures from my wildlife encounters. few more this was the most recent one in Sri Lanka so what I mean by that is if you look at the top there's also a lovely headband the fabric headband on the top and the bottom as well which we all love and hopefully you can see that there is a sheet inserted between the pages and when double spreads are stuck together, that's what we call lay flat. And when there is a sheet inserted between those spreads to give extra rigidity, that's what we call flush mount. 
The pages in this book are really thick, as you can see. You can still bend them a little bit, but it's like cardboard. It's really, really thick and it's not going to get damaged. It's not going to curl. The book comes by default with 30 pages, which is 15 spreads. And you can add an extra five spreads if you need to. So the maximum page count can be 40 pages for this specific book. Let's move on to the paper options. You've got two main paper types that you can choose from. And that's what you could see here in the beginning. Now for this book, I chose the silk. For me, silk meant luster, but when I got the book, I realized that it's not luster. So the silk is obviously the less shiny option. It's a photographic paper, just to put it out there. It's not a digital paper. However, it has a very, very interesting texture. Let me try to show it to you. It's almost like a very, very fine fabric texture. I probably have to post a picture here so you can see it. It's beautiful and it's very, very elegant. But once again, it's not luster, it's silk. Now, if you want, there is an album HD option, the high gloss option that you can see here. It obviously has far more gloss and it makes things a little bit more dynamic. But comparing the two, the silk looks just as dynamic to me. Let me give you a side by side comparison of the two. So that's the high gloss and the silk. And you can see the glare on the high gloss paper. Needless to say, the album HD is photographic as well, silver halide. So both paper types are going to give you amazing colors and dynamic range. Let's move on now to the printing process. So as just mentioned, all of these books are printed using a silver halide method, which is the very best when it comes to color, accuracy, tone transition, dynamics, and so on. So since this book is all about nature, I absolutely love how it came out. These are the colors that I was expecting. It looks really natural to me. Uh, it's exactly what I saw on my screen. The dynamic range is pretty good too. I can see detail in the shadows. I, my highlights are not overblown. There's nothing really too bright so it's perfect and I absolutely love it. The editor, the last thing to talk about here is, is an online editor where you have to upload all your images and basically create it with an internet connection. The editor is really good however for this book they simplified it slightly and I think the reason behind is to make sure that these books look good and they are full of pictures so nobody makes a mess of it. As you can see, the layouts here are mostly pictures because in these expensive flush mount silver halide books, you don't want to put way too much text. You can certainly put text, as you can see, I have uh, a few titles here and there and they look really nice. But I wanted this book to be mostly about the photographs and what they represent. You can obviously move the pictures around, you can change the size of the image boxes, you can you have loads of fonts to choose from, you can move around the text, so there's quite a lot to do. I think it's good, it's simple and it's straightforward. Right, delivery. The book came from Macedonia, obviously. Uh, it was sent with EMS and it costed 22 euros. Obviously this is the heaviest book, it's in a proper wooden box, so it's really heavy, so you, you can expect the shipping to be a bit expensive. With the other books, I assume it's cheaper, but it was really quick. It came in two, three days and it was really meticulously packed. I couldn't show you the unboxing or taking off the packaging because it was so tightly packed that I had to rip it off and it was a bit messy, but at least the book was all safe and there was no damage to it anywhere. The full price of the book, as I mentioned before, is 199 euros. And now finally, what are the pros and cons of the book and what can you use this for? Well, let's start with the pros. I absolutely love the wooden look, the wooden cover and the wooden box. It's such a distinct look that I haven't seen with any other company and it really makes it look special. If you don't want to get the wooden book, they have so many more high-end materials to choose from, so lots of cover options, like the linen, leather, uh, acrylic, which is also a really pretty one, and the um, image wrap. The print quality is phenomenal. It's uh, silver halide, amazing colors, amazing um, accuracy, tone transitions, and good dynamic range. They have two paper times, which are both really nice. Uh, the silk, as I mentioned, is more of a fabric-y look. It's smoother and more elegant. 
and the album HD is a high gloss version, which is, you know, the traditional photographic uh, paper, which is um, a bit better with dynamics. So you're going to see deeper blacks and brighter highlights, obviously, but not everybody likes the shine. Shipping was really fast. And finally, I think the price is really reasonable. Um, when you hear 200 pounds for a book or 200 euros, uh, it seems very expensive, but when you look at this book, it's made of such high quality materials, including the cover, the paper and the printing as well. And books similar to this, flush mount books, can cost anything up to four, five hundred dollars or pounds. So I think the 200 euros for 30 pages is a reasonable price for something that's going to last a very long time. And now two of the cons that I have to mention. One thing, I was really missing the luster paper from the options. It's the industry standard for flush mount books. So the silk is beautiful, but I know many people are going to prefer a luster finish. So possibly in the near future, they might introduce a third option for the paper choices. As I mentioned in the upload shots, they simplify the editing abilities for this specific book because they want it to look good and they don't want to have messy pages and layouts. The disadvantage might be that some customers might know how to use these editors without creating messy uh, layouts and they might want to use more uh, options and functionality. So what can you use this book for? Well, anything really, as with all books. Uh, I'm not going to say don't use it for this, don't use it for that, but um, given the price and the quality, you want to use it for a special occasion or if you are loaded with money you can use it for your daily photo books um, i think it's amazing for wildlife i know that this is specifically made for weddings because obviously it's going to last long it's big it's impressive you can get the bride and groom's name on the front carved into the wood and also as i mentioned nature photographs look really good on um, silver highlight because they produce a very accurate natural tone uh, apart from that you can do baby books you can do parties you can do travel books if you want so it's suitable for anything really as long as you have great uh, pictures and high quality material so these were my thoughts on this amazing uh, book. It is certainly going into my Hall of Fame as one of my favorites, not just because of the cover and the box, but also because of the print quality and just the impression of the book when I opened it. If you have any more questions about this book, leave them in the comments box. I try to answer them. If you want to see more of my travel photography from wildlife or anywhere else, follow me on Instagram, Guy Around the World. Thank you for watching. As always, subscribe for more.